is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds we are back at insurance auto auctions here in oklahoma city let's jump into this today with number one on my list here's one we haven't had on the channel yet it's a 2007 nissan murano with 143,000 miles it's supposed to be a run and drive it's a pedal car interesting let's walk around take a look at the body a lot of delamination on this chrome up here that's very common on older vehicles. Tires, Firestone Destinations up front, which look good. We have on the back, Cooper Discovery, and very good tire there. Again, the body still looks good. Toe hitch down there. And what do we got over here? We've got a Douglas, all season. You know how I feel about mismatched tires, right? And a Firestone Destination. So it looks like Two front tires are the same, the back tires are mismatched. Let's see what's going on under the hood. She's a little dirty. Ooh, boy. There's a lot of oil all over the top of this engine. That's concerning. That is concerning. There should not be oil all over the top of the motor. It's possible someone was filling up the oil and they spilled it. That would be my hope. Sure, that's probably what it is. No, it's, it's probably not what it is. Let's check the oil while we're on the subject. Nice, clean oil, though. It does. It's got super clean oil. Looks very good. It's full of nice green coolant. It's even got some fluid in the power steering reservoir. Brake fluid is full, a tad dirty, but not too bad. I'll bite on this one, okay? I will. I'll, I'll bite on this one. Ooh, this is nice smell smells sterile that's odd I'm not, that i'm not used to i'm not used to it actually smells it smells like a clean car Ooh, it's got power because that's an electric latch all right spare tire too what how did you end up here this could be another one of those scores guys all right, she's a little wore out up here. You know, a little bit of duct tape. Oh, these seats are... Are you kidding me? If you have never sat in one of these... Uh, <laughs> okay, I gotta quit. I'm telling you, this thing feels great. It's got some weird push-to-start deal. What is this? How does that work? Do you stick your... What? Oh, okay. A little screen right there. 143,000. These seats, I had no idea. This Nissan is so comfortable. That dash is a little weird looking though. I mean, it's got this massive dashboard. It's way too big for the car, honestly. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> did you hear what I heard? I heard a rod. Important window works. Less important window works. Express up and down, very nice. You've got heated front seats, both sides. Weird place for your mirrors right there, but that's, that's your mirrors. Dual zone climate control. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Turn the AC all the way on cold. AC button is pushed. We'll give it a minute and we'll see what that does. You got some buttons on the steering wheel, your controls for your stereo system on the left, cruise control on the right. Then we've got lots of windshield stuff going on on the right, headlight stuff and fog light stuff going on on the left. Brakes feel good. Steering feels nice. It's nice and tight. Backup camera works. Goes right into gear. Forward and backward, not a problem. We do have an airbag light and we have an emergency brake light or a brake light, I should say. We've got an airbag light flashing and the ABS and brake light are lit. Uh, let's see what we got down here. We got some little cubby holes. There's some change in that one. Nothing in that one. This is gonna be a cup holder, I think. Yep, a couple cup holders there. Nothing there. 
and then nothing there. Does this not open? I guess it just slides. Okay, got it. All right, air conditioning. Uh, can I turn up the? Let's turn it up just a smidge. And let's turn it on full front. Oh yes, wow. That AC is ice cold. Not a problem. AC works great. Let's give it a little rev. Wait. No, there is a rod knock in there. Damn. Really? Really? She sounds so good. Yeah, I think we got a, a rod knocking. It's a shame. The thing is though, ladies and gentlemen, if you did not come out here and, and everybody gets mad at me, you shouldn't rev these cars. You got to rev these cars. If I came out here and didn't rev this and just started it and went forward and backward, I probably would have bought this thing. I would have said, oh, this thing is great. I would have got it home. I would have got ready to start working. I'd take it out for its first drive and realize it had rods banging. And then I'd be, I'd be out. I don't know, maybe it's not that bad. No, it's that bad. Yeah, it's that bad, okay. Now, <laughs> I want to believe, yeah, I do. This thing is super nice. And I'm not lying to you when I tell you that it is amazingly comfortable. I'm I'm blown away by how soft these seats are. It's it's like falling into a damn cloud. I, I love it. I didn't know. I didn't know these things were this nice. Unfortunately, this one is a no-go. So we gotta move on. Next on my list, another pedal car, 2005 Jeep. Grand Cherokee Limited Edition with Laredo tires that look good, at least one Laredo, two Laredo, body looks good. It does have some damage on the other side, guys. Baby on board sticker, that's good. That's, you know, means kids were throwing food all over the place. Dirty diapers is almost a guarantee. Actually, it doesn't look that bad, guys. It really doesn't. Full set of tires, but does have some damage to the front bumper. I think the grill, I would replace it, guys. Parts for this are not expensive. Get rid of this. This is all torn up, cracked, and broken. Just get rid of that. Change out that front bumper. Clean those headlights. Clean or replace the fog lights. Replace this fender. This door, a little bit of damage. I would probably try to touch that up just a tad, but the door's fine. I wouldn't mess with it. Not bad. Very easy fix. This is not a salvage car. Again, this is from Pedal. Hmm. Oh, goodness, the headliner. Oh, wow. That's different. Okay. Well, it's it's got some customizations, ladies and gentlemen. Um, no third row, of course. But it does have... It is a limited, so it's got leather. Good God, those seats weigh a freaking ton. Look at that headliner. I hope that comes out on care. That is... That's psychedelic, man. That's cool. It's cosmic is what it is. You know, it's lots of stars and nebulas and things. At least that's what I see. <laughs> if you see something different, feel free to comment below and tell me what you see. I'm going to assume she's got no power. Oh, they even did the, they even did these too. They did not, oh, staples. Really? Oh, oh no, yeah. They stapled the fabric to the ceiling. Uh why no okay that's that's not good the key was left on so it's dead uh i'll be honest with you i don't know if my booster pack has any any more left in it um for you guys this is a new video for me however i've been here all day trying to film 24 cars but i expected to film 21. All right, I, ha I fully expect to be able to film 21 cars, but I had 24 that needed filmed. Um, and this is number, I think, 16. 
So that booster pack has been working its back off for me today. How the heck does this open? Uh, well, I don't know. <sighs> really? This stupid guard thing here is in the way. Oh, that's what it is. The guard is in the way. If you move it, there we go. Ew, the 4.7. Oh boy, that was a that was a bad motor. That was a real bad motor. Let's jump right into it. Engine oil. Black as night, right? And it's pretty dark. Not the worst. These engines were just notorious for sludge. And I, I typically avoid them. If they were maintained very, very well, they can be all right. Transmissions weren't known to be very good in these either. Whoa, now. I just got that all over my leg. The trans fluid, super bright pink. And really thick. Wonder if it's got any uh, rebuild in a bottle in it. So, needless to say, I'm not feeling very good about this. It might be alright though, it might be alright. We have a, a really nice interstate battery. Now, somebody spent some money on that. I guess I need to grab my jump pack. Let's see if she does anything. This poor thing is so dead, man. That single light there was flashing. She's only got 10 and a half volts left in her. I'll be surprised if it can make it through the rest of the day. 207,000 miles. It runs. Or wait. There we go. Nope, come on. Yeah, that's it. It ran, and the booster pack just died completely. So I noticed something. <laughs> Number one, to get it to run, I had to put my foot on the gas and hold it. When it did run, obviously the engine chattered and made some noise, which, you know, that happens after cars have been sitting for a while, no big deal, but uh, something smoky flew out from from over here. I, I don't know what it was, but it just went poof all over the place. I don't see anything wet, so I don't think it was any kind of liquid, but there is definitely some kind of a plume of smoke that just kind of flew out of here. With that said, guys, I can't waste a lot of time on vehicles that I don't think are worth filming because my booster pack is literally at the end of its rope. In fact, it's probably completely done at this point. I probably just blew the very last of the charge this thing had. Let's see if it'll if it'll fire up again. No. So she's dead. Dang it. No. Okay. She's got more. She she may jump start another car before the day is over. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to spend a lot of time on things that I just don't feel like are worth it. This one worth it if I hadn't seen that smoke and it didn't want to start you had to hold your foot down on the gas to get it to start and then it rattled around and a plume of smoke came out of it so i'm gonna have to say no on this one let's move on to the next last on my list is a 2021 toyota corolla from enterprise that's right they kind of do their own insurance things guys so when a car is damaged or wrecked or whatever, they can just fix it themselves and it never gets reported to insurance, which I think, well, it's a double-edged sword. It's a great thing because if you can buy something cheap and you need to do a little bit of repair to it, a lot of time, most of the time, it's gonna come with a clean title and nobody needs to know when you go to sell it. The bad side of that is if you're looking to buy something and you find one and it looks great, well, you never know. Maybe it was in some kind of an accident before. It was just never reported. Either way, I don't care. I love cars, and I think this 21 Corolla is actually a really nice looking vehicle. It's got a little bit of front end damage. I do not see any blown bags or anything like that, and the damage is minimal, guys. Like, in my opinion, from the pictures and from just standing here, this does not look like something that needed to be reported to insurance and devalue the car. Okay, when you're standing right here, maybe it looks a little rough. 
okay? Keep in mind a couple things. Number one, it's a Toyota Corolla. It's the lower end of the Toyota platform. And the damage honestly doesn't look, it doesn't look, come on. Uh, uh, <laughs> doesn't look that bad. What's going on here, man? Oh, it's bent. Come on, there we go. Let's see how bad it really is, shall we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little worse than I thought. For sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a little worse. Damage went a little further back than I thought it did. That's the thing about these daggum plastic bumpers, man. They can make the damage look so minimal when reality is it's... This one's kind of damaged, guys. Uh, let's move this out of the way. It didn't get all the way back to the intake or anything. That's good. The fan is still good and it still moves. The car is probably still drivable. I assume it's full of oil. It is. Oil looks great. I'm going to bet it's very low miles, being a 2021, probably 40, 50,000 since it's an enterprise car, rental car. Uh, all of this has been damaged. This is all pushed up pretty hard because this got pushed back. When this got pushed back, it tweaked that side and this side out. Uh, this headlight's totally destroyed. The bumper, you might as well just call that a wrap. Go ahead and replace it. Although, oh hell, it might be all right. It's broken there, but you could potentially plasti weld that back together i'm gonna say the bumper is 50 50. maybe you could salvage it maybe you couldn't but if it was me i would just assume bumper grills hood obviously is creased i'd get a hood and everything over here this can all be bent back into shape now that's up to you if you want to try that on the core support honestly i don't see any major kinks in the core support but all of this has got to be pulled forwards, guys. Now, that could be done. That could absolutely be done without too much trouble. The crash bar is damaged. That will need to be replaced. And this fender got pushed back as well. Um, you could probably fix it. I would just replace it. I'm going to say the radiator is damaged. There is no coolant left in it. Even though everything under here looks... Everything under here looks fine. I, I don't see any damage to the condenser or where the radiator would be but maybe it broke one of the radiator hoses at the bottom or something i don't know either way i'm going to go ahead and close this hood and we're going to go on the inside and take a peek well now it doesn't want to close great because it's jammed up Ugh. i can't get it to close okay I'll fiddle with it when I'm not holding a camera in my hand. I wouldn't leave it open, guys. I'll find a way to get it closed because a good gust of wind or something could rip that hood right off and damage the pillars. It could damage the windshield, and we don't want to cause any, any damage out here. Um, definitely a rental car. Smells of smoke and pot and, well, other things that I'm going to refrain from speaking of on camera. It's, it smells pretty rough. I don't think this would cost a whole lot to repair, assuming that you can find the parts for it. This thing was just road hard put away wet, guys. Uh, there's ashes all over here. I would almost be willing to bet that this is a car. The last person that rented it took off with it. Oh, they left the, they left the key on, so the battery's dead. That's always nice. I love that, especially when my booster pack is at the end of its rope, you know what I mean? Well, we know it's got a, a busted radiator or something. It's got no, no coolant left, so I'm going to say not a big loss not starting this one. It's good the bags aren't blown, though, but judging by how filthy and disgusting this car is, I would, I would almost bet you money that the last person that rented it did not bring it back when their rental was up, and they just continued driving it and, you know, ultimately crashed it, and who knows what happened. They're pure speculation. Obviously, I don't know what happened, just... That would be my guess. Anyway, moving on. I guess we're not moving on because this was the last one. I'm recording so many videos today, it's hard for me to keep up. But here's the little Toyota. I wanted to show you guys, I kept my word. I got her latched because that's what I do. I try to be respectful of other people's vehicles. In fact, 
I, I noticed this one right next to me is sitting wide open and I just hate for I'd hate for weather or something to get in there and mess up a car you know it was a run and drive when it came in but somebody came out here fooled around left the hood open and destroyed it for the next person I try to be respectful if I see something like that I'll I'll go ahead and take care of it listen I got to get out of here but I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time to watch my video I truly appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button that would be really really cool drop those comments below and stay safe out there I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.